All right, boys, there's been a breakthrough in some emulation about nine months to a year ago. One under the radar. Last time we played this on a channel in 2020, used the actual disc, all right, on an Xbox 360, used the Elgato. But now, if you know, this game hasn't really ran on Xenia, the Xbox 360 emulator. It's basically, you would do like the first race and it would black screen and that was it. Well, somebody found a fix for it. I don't know, I would love to give credit. I don't know who um, somebody hopped in my stream and was like, oh, it works now. I've got a link for it. I'll show you in this video how to set it up. Um, I'll show you how to get this running like sharper images, I guess like a 4K upscale a little bit, but what you can at least. Um, we've been playing through it. We're 50% done. It looks great. <sighs> a couple people in the Discord have tried it. It works. They got past the black screen. They got past the first race and they're able to play the game. So if you don't know anything about this game, Import Tuner Challenge was made by Genki, Tokyo Extreme Racer 0, 3, 1, 2, on Dreamcast, whatever you want to, you know, Tokyo Extreme Racer Drift, Drift 2. Um, this game didn't have huge car lists like the others, but this is a very solid game. You race around the Wangan and you race rivals and you defeat bosses and it's a great time. It's one of my favorite games of all time. All right. But this deserves to have more people play it. And now that it works on Xenia, guess what? We're going to do that today. Okay. So let me get out of here and let me show you. First things first, go to Google. Okay, I'll, I'll put this link in there. Xenia. Download it. Okay. You can get it right here. Right. Doesn't matter. You download it. Blam. Done. Okay. Now, I recommend getting Xenia Canary because I'm pretty sure that's, it's like the beta version they work on that's better. Okay. I have both. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have both. I don't know if you need both, but over on GitHub here, I will show you. Click on this, download zip. You'll get all this, okay? Tells you about it right here. Install this, all right? You'll be good to go. But this Xenia Canary is what you need, okay? All these links will be down below. All right, so make a new folder on your desktop or obviously you're gonna unzip the stuff, okay? So I have all my Xenia stuff. I just have the games, all the ROMs imported right into here, okay? So basically from here, when you download the Canary, I made a new folder and I put all those files in here, okay? This is, if you've done emulation before, you already, it's probably simple to you, right? So then obviously if you double click on Xenia Canary, it opens the app, you can open recent, whatever, do that. So first things first, all right, let's change up the settings to make it look a little better, okay? Before we go in there and change some settings, let's open Xenia Canary, okay? Go to display post-processing settings. Now, depending on your PC, depends on, I guess, how crazy you can go. I've only got a 2070 Super. My PC is like four years old now, it runs it fine. Um, I clicked on NVIDIA Fast, the extreme quality, okay? That's what I got here. And then for resampling and sharpening, I am the uh, third option here, AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 1.0. Now, I believe this was all the way up. You want this all the way at zero. Lower is sharper. It makes it like a cleaner image. And then I have uh, the CAS up to 1.0. And I have dithering checked, okay? All you need for post-processing, that's it. Now, Go, your, I use Notepad++ to open this. Recent TOML, it's a TOML uh, file, okay? I'm sorry, this is the one you want. Xenary Canary Config TOML, this is the one you want, okay? Ignore what I said. This one right here. So if you right click on it, edit with Notepad++, if you don't have it, go download Notepad++, I'm pretty sure it's free, okay? Now this will bring up all this crap. Now, I don't know why they still haven't, um, given us like an easy way to do this in the uh, emulator but this is what we have to do okay so let me move my face basically you're gonna scroll down to display all right it's in alphabetical order you want display right here okay now do you see internal display resolution you can pick what resolution you want the highest is 1920 by 1080 all right that's what we're going to roll with. Default is 1280 by 720. So what you're going to do is you're going to change this number of internal display resolution to 16. So you can run 1080. Okay. So 
you want to put that number right there. Boom. Done. Now, I can't remember if I mess with this, but right down from the display, post-processing, I have true 140 FSR. I don't know if I changed that, but just you might want to double check that that's uh, what you got there. Okay. Under GPU, clear memory page state, you want to change this from false to true. Just type it and just delete false and type in true. Okay. Now if we scroll down a little bit more, draw resolution, what you're looking for. Draw resolution scale X and Y. These are both set to one. You want to set change them from one to two. And right here, it, it kind of tells you, it gives you information on the right side of basically what it does. Change both of those to two. Scroll down a little bit from where we were to GPU. Now, I've seen some videos where they say use Vulkan. Uh, for me, Vulkan gave me an error. So I changed it to D3D12, which is an option right here. And it works fine for me. So if that's what you want to go with, go ahead. If you want to try Vulcan, go for it. But D3D12 works for me. All right, let's go down to um, VSync here. I think it's VSync. Yes, so VSync here will be default as true. Turn it to false. Right, turn it to false. Now I've seen videos where under this they have V vsync underscore fps equals uh 200 and they they cap it at 200 frames per second um and then over here in the like where it tells you what it does it says vsync frames per second i don't have that i don't know i'm assuming you can add it if you want but it it works fine for me like this so i'm just gonna tell you to just leave it like that okay but if you do have vsync D, uh, fps there set it to 200 and then when you are done with that what you are going to do is go up to file and hit save. Mine's grayed out because nothing changed. You're going to hit save. Okay, not save as, just save it. It'll overwrite all your settings and you're done with that. That's done. Boom. So that'll get you running like sharper images, uh, kind of like a more of 4K quality upscaling. Not really upscaling, but like it does a little bit of upscaling, I guess. So to get import tuner challenge to work properly, um, I don't have a way to host the file anywhere else. I just don't. Okay. So what you're going to have to do is join my discord. I will. There's already a link in the description. I'll put one near the top of the, the description under all these downloads. Okay. So basically, um, Cyfrog brought this to my attention. Okay. There's a little file here. It's a little patch. Okay. You need to drop this in a certain folder to get it. To work now if you go to my discord server if you join obviously i have all my stuff on the side you're going to scroll down a good ways until you see tokyo extreme racer and then the the last one before need for speed is itc import tuner challenge xenia fix click on that and right here you can download this patch okay download this patch you'll get it and then go to your Xenia Canary folder. If you don't have a folder labeled patches, new folder, name it patches, all lowercase, you're gonna open that, and that file you download from the Discord, you're gonna drag and drop it right into here. That's it, it's done, it's ready to go. No more black screen, import tuner challenge will work, and with the new settings, it'll, it'll look better than ever, okay? That's literally all you have to do. It's that easy. So then obviously you open Canary, um, open, you can pick Import Tuner Challenge. I'm not gonna show you where to get it. Get it off the internet, boom, it plays, you're good to go. And that's it, boys, it's that simple. And that little line of code will make it so there's no more black screen, and that's it. That's all we got, all right? Anyway, if you want to come check out our playthrough, we're currently doing it on the emulator. It looks great. Uh, we just beat Skull Bullet last night. Um, I am working on something for Tokyo Extreme Racer Zero, trying to upscale textures. It's a whole thing, um, kind of figuring it out. But Import Tuner Challenge, please go play it if you've never played it before. Great game. Came out in 2006. Genki might be on the comeback. They just released Devil Road Run. They scanned an R34 on Saturday. They scanned uh, a Route KS NSX. 
a couple months back, they're still racing in Japan under the names of Genki Racing Project and Shotoko Battle. And there's a lot of things pointing towards us possibly getting it. I made a whole video about it. I'll link that down below as well if you want some more information. But um, go get this game working. Get that little patch. Put it in there. You're good to go. Enjoy it. Anyway, you know the drill. Subscribe. Come back. See you on the next one.